It's a big deal. Um, all right, folks. Will the Wilmot Public Library District Board of Trustees please come to order? Um, Jan, Madam Secretary, would you please call the roll? Yes. Okay. Trustee Johnson. Here. Trustee George. Here. Trustee Rogers. Here. Trustee McDonald. Here. Trustee O'Loughlin. Here. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Here. And we welcome Gail. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, the first item on our agenda is the approval of the meetings, uh, the uh, board meetings for April located behind Tasha 1. Um, can I have a motion to approve? I have a motion to approve the April board meetings. Stuart moved to approve. Yes, second. And uh, Lisa, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Yes. Okay. Yes. The minutes are approved. Uh, we have no presentations today. Um, I see no members of the public wishing to comment. We will move on to the treasurer's report. Ron? Okay. April is not a big money month. Uh, we got $35,000 in real estate taxes, $21,000 from the per capita grant, and less than ten dollars in replacement taxes and in general fund interest. Uh, we are at about 72% of the budget spent um, at the 10-month uh, break. Um, so we're in good financial shape. Uh, there were no significant uh, or unanticipated expenses um, and nothing else extraordinary in the, you know, in the financials. Um, the next thing we need to do is approve the bills and salaries for April. I so move. I'll uh, second. Jenny. Jenny. <clears throat> Wolf. Yeah. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee Barshas. Yes. Trustee Laughlin. I. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Um, action items. Um, we have um, a couple of items. Uh, the first one is to set the uh, regular meetings of the board. And you'll note that there are two changes, one in July and one in September. The July change is to provide for 30 days to publish the budget um, that we presume we will adopt uh, at the next meeting. Um, so that has to be a 30 days period for that. We, you may recall that we then have a, an, a hearing prior to the meeting. So that's the change one week later to the 20, uh, Four, or is it? Or 17. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then the next one is to uh, make a change to accommodate the uh, Jewish holidays. And we typically do that if there's a conflict. I move approval of the schedule of regular meetings. Second. As, as set forth in the attachment. Four. Yes, indeed. Um, is there a second? Mm -hmm. second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, oh, Ron, this is for you. This is the annual decision to participate <laughs> in the, non, la, the Public Library Non-Resident Services Program. Um, we should have this, like, just put Ron there, because Ron explains this to us every year. <laughs> Go for it, Ron. All right. Well, basically, um, there was a time when we had libraries nearby that were not part of our circulation system. Uh, that time has passed, so this is actually pretty routine. Uh, when Glenview was not a part of the circ system, uh, we did have some issues that we had to be careful about. Glenview has been a part of our, of, of our CCS CERC system for many years now. So this, there's, no, there's no significant exposure to us from non-residents participating. Has anyone done it in this fashion? We have very few non-resident cards that have ever been yeah. sold. I think the uh, the number in recent years is probably usually zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the most affected area is there's an unincorporated portion that kind of sits in the Avoca district, mm -hmm. um, kind of not in Winnetka, 
not in Northfield, not in Wilmette. Indian Hill. It's part of it. Part of it's Indian Hill. Part of it's north of there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if anyone in that area wishes to have a library card, they can take their tax bill to the uh, library where they wish to be, you know, to have a card. Um, I don't think anybody does that anymore. No. Um, Here's a really stupid question. Yes. Could they take it to the Kennewick Library, which who has the lowest rate? Who would they take it to? There isn't anywhere the for them to go. Would they take it to? <laughs> no, They'd have to go Kennewick to the board meeting, the and the board meeting has no own. mechanism. Okay. Forget I asked that question. Well, if they, if they bring their real estate tax bill in, do they do they then have to pay a fee, or do they get it to a Well, no, the, what they have to do is pay the rate they would pay yeah, in their tax bill uh, if oh, they weren't in okay. a library district. Yeah, okay. And Kennewick okay. has the lowest tax bill between Wilmette, right. Winneka, mm -hmm. and Kennewick. They Ken have no way to take. All right, when somebody has nothing to do, they can. <laughs> My well, understanding is they have to go to the nearest library. Operating. Right. They cannot cherry pick. They can't go shopping. Mm -hmm. right. right. They have okay. to go to the nearest operating library, not a library district with no right. library. Library. Yeah. Okay. We uh, we function as the library for Kenilworth. So they would have to be sent here. If there were a Kenilworth library office, we also technically function as the office for the Kenilworth library district. Well, after 20 years, <laughs> see, I had a question on the subject. <laughs> so I move that we approve participation in the non-resident program. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 OK. Um, can I, I'm sorry, for out of my own edification. So what happens if a non-resident, you know, in Evanston or Chicago or Glencore or whatever wants to get a library card here? Can they? Well, they could if they bring their tax bill in, really but there's no reason to do it because they already pay library taxes if they live in a library district. Okay. So a lot of North Evanston residents use the Wilmette Library. Yeah. Their Evanston card can be used in our library, just like a Wilmette resident can go to the Evanston libraries. So there's really no incentive to pay sure. twice okay. for library services. I mean, I have a relative who lives in Inverness, and they do not have a library district. Oh. And every year she makes has to make a decision as to whether to get a library card at either Barrington or Palatine. It, she definitely did it when the kids were little and you're traipsing in and out, but she sort of thinks about it every year now because it's sort of a hefty it's, bill. It's, it's, yeah. you know? yeah. it's an expense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, I would have been able to say in the past, you would have been able to deduct your taxes. Of course, that's sort of moot now but any of that so Thank there you. are some areas where it is relevant but not for really anybody around here mm -hmm. okay. um, there were efforts several years ago to clean up the areas that weren't in a library service area but it it never really flew very far in the legislature okay the next item on the budget is the proposals for the rooftop screen yeah. when we put the most recent rooftop unit up there was put up there without a village mandated screen of it um, but this, because it was done at a time of year where we really, really couldn't accomplish that we have three proposals Gail, is there, is there anything more you want to say on the subject? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. The, uh, the library staff is recommending the GHC. Um, well, that's not the lowest bid, but it's the bid that um, has the warranty, mm -hmm. oh, which right. is very important. Yeah. And also, they seem to really care about the job. They came out and spoke to us in person where the other people just kind of called it in mm -hmm. so um, but the warranty issue I think is is very much worth the, in, the not very big increase. It gets us through the winter I mean either we if we do it you know this way it'll get us through make sure it holds up all winter long whereas Ex the other one would sort of exactly warranty would run out oh just around December. How long is the warranty? One, one, year. Year. one, one year. year. And do we have any idea what it's going to look like? 
This sage. Is the color, brush. yeah. That's up to us. Um, is it up to us? The sage color is sage. sage, brush, brush, yeah. it's, yeah. so sage it's a screen. Yeah. It's a roof it's screen. Mm -hmm. um, I move approval of the bid from GSC Mechanical on the foreign amount not to exceed thirteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars. I second it. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Nope. Uh, Madam Secretary, can you call the roll? Okay. Trustee Wolf? Yes. Trustee Parshis? Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee mm -hmm. Rogers? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. And Trustee Johnson? Yes. <laughs> the last item for us to vote on is the changes in fines located behind attachment seven. Gail, do you want to yes. walk us through this mm -hmm. a bit? Some of these changes have already been put into practice without mm -hmm. board approval, so we want to formalize that. Um, what we would like to do, the, the biggest change is um, the iPads from $5 a day overdue to $1 a day, mm. partly because it really hasn't been an issue. We would like to, um, across the board, have either 10 cents a day or a dollar a day, especially for our library of things mm -hmm. that's going to come. We want everything mm -hmm. to just be okay. a dollar. It'll just be so much easier. Mm -hmm. um, sure. And the feature films, that that's already been instituted, but we just thought we needed board approval to um, have it changed and signed off mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And now we, we really are no longer charging fees at all for our feature film, so that's why that line is crossed off. Do you need to add the library of things so it doesn't have to come back? Because it just says all items except as noted below below is 10 cents a day. So sure, why not? Be, Good idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll okay. amend, uh, we have an emotion. Right. I'm, we have a to, I move that we amend the fees and fine policy to include a daily fine for library of things to $1, for $1 a day. Um, okay, could I have a first have a motion? Do we do the vote? Um, to, let's a vote on the amendment. Right. Okay, I motion that we approve the amendment made by Lisa. Any, uh, can I get a second? Second. Okay. okay. All in favor of the uh, amendment? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. All right, now we will vote. Can I ask one question before? Well, wasn't there some talk of some libraries sort of getting away from Yes. Yes. And then what do you guys think about that? I think that that was something that um, a new director could decide whether he or she would get behind. It doesn't seem to be something that we would like to do right now. Uh, they, they found that um, essentially the fees, I mean the fines don't really um, make a difference when people return things, that it's not an incentive to do that. There's, for example, Algonquin is fine free and they haven't had issues. Now, fine free is one thing, but then it also goes to a collection agency. So if within 45 days, if you haven't returned the materials, so it's a little bit more complicated and there's a PR aspect of it as well that I think if, if Heather had stayed, that would have been something that she was working towards. Um, I don't think we're going to institute it in the time that we are interim directors. But I do think that it's something to look at. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I personally feel fines are fi fines are fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and I also, but one one feature I really liked um, that might help uh, reduce fines is auto renew. Have yes. we considered auto oh, renew? Oh, they do it. If they do it with our new done. system. Yeah. If there's not a whole deal auto renew, which is a great feature. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And, and one of the just point of clarification or question of clarification, um, it says at the bottom that the maximum fine will be half the cost of the item. Right. So that's only, um, I thought there was a policy that if, if someone didn't replace something, they were liable for the whole amount. So no, that that's a different? fine. Yeah. So, so that's so, in addition. Oh, okay. So just one, that's why I want to clarify. Right. Okay. Right. Thank you. So, okay. so if I lost it, I couldn't, because I've lost some stuff, <laughs> I, I couldn't just pay the replacement cost. I'd have to pay 50% fee plus the replacement well, cost. Well, depend on how long it was before you came in and, and admitted <laughs> Lost. <laughs> <laughs> but your fines okay. won't accrue beyond the half the value. I, gotcha. okay. I mean, I know when I we wouldn't double yeah. charge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have a motion on the floor to uh, adopt the uh, fee schedule as <coughs> as presented under time tab seven as amended. Um, all, I think we can just do a roll call. I do a voice vote on this? Yes. All yep. in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Who seconded? Um, 
I, I think I did. <laughs> yeah, he, the, 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 Trustee McDonald's. There was a motion. But oh, I seconded the amendment. Yeah. The amendment. Okay. I don't think we ever had a motion. Well, we had a motion. Right, a motion that we uh, approved the okay, fine schedule. Okay, let's try that schedule. again. Now I can get a second. I seconded. Okay. Okay. There we go. Thank All you. Favor. Favor. Hi. 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 <laughs> we'll get arrested. <laughs> we'll put him in court prison. Um, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Yeah. The next one is a discussion item, and it's sort of interesting. This has actually come up before, and somehow it just never happened. We sort of started getting, and some of us have a, and you know who you are, um, have a <laughs> library email. But what we never got, because it just didn't happen, uh, information on how to actually use that email, how to access it, how to get it. Mm -hmm. And the reason for this is in checking with most most of the other village officials, what they have, uh, and I don't know that they all do, but mostly it's, if you to contact them, they have